Hello, Chris here from My Stamp Lady. I'm going to show you today how to use the fun Sweet Shop stickers to make a really cute, kind of like gift enclosure card. It's shaped three and a half inches by two inches. And just using some cardstock, the stickers, and the stamp set called Bring on the Cake. Bring on the Cake has a total of 13 stamps, and they're all just a variety of happy birthday sentiments. So let's get started. Okay, to start with, because I want the business card or the um, two by three and a half inch card, I am using this as my template, kind of. I have a four and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. I will score it at one and an eighth and three and a quarter. And then I will score it at one and an eighth and four and three quarters. So pull in the Simply Score and place this in here. I've got, the, oops, sorry, it's four and three quarters. So four and three quarter edge. And I will score that at one and one eighth. So we're gonna write them there. And then three and a quarter. We'll rotate it 90 degrees. And again, do one and one eighth, and then do four and three quarters. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to use your bone folder, fold up all those, fold up all those scored lines, and then we're going to cut out some of these corners, or cut out actually all of the corners. I like to cut them on an angle, and that way when you go in and fold them up, they'll fold up better. So I start away, here's my score line, start just, oh, maybe about an eighth of an inch over from my score line and cut down. And we'll do that on all of the corners. They fold up much better if you give them just a little bit of an angle rather than cutting them straight. So we'll do that there and go down there. And if you don't get it exactly even, it's really, you can go in and even them up, oops, after you get it completed and put it to uh, fold in your lines. Okay, so we'll put those down. And oh, I think I wanna make this one just a bit deeper. So we'll go in just like that, make it a bit deeper. Okay, put that down and then that will go up. I'm just going to use the multi-purpose adhesive. Put just a little bit there. And sometimes you have to hold that multi piece Oops, I should have done this one first. Ah, we'll do this one first. Sorry about that. Got ahead of myself there. There we go. Sometimes you have to hold that just a moment while it sets up. Okay. Then when you fold that down, that is my envelope. And I'm going to be using the cupcake ones here. So pull that out. And oh, we'll take some of these and just place them right down on the bottom of this envelope. And it'll decorate my envelope. There we go. I'm going to set that aside. Okay, so now for the card, I'm going to use a four by three and a half piece of cardstock, scored in half to make it a two by three and a half inch cardstock piece for a card. Okay, and then we'll stamp this down. Not, I like to fold better on this side. And we'll stamp that down there. Bring on the cake in the black. Then I will take my coordinating markers. We'll use the brush side. And we're just gonna go in and quickly color in my word here. And I'm using the coordinating colors to the stickers which is Poppy Parade, Wisteria, Wonder, Lucky Limeade, and Pool Party. There we go. Go in and, oops, got the wrong side again here. And then I'm gonna grab one of the bigger cupcakes and we'll just place that right there. There we go. 
and you could just leave it like that. Bring on the cake and it's just a simple card um, for a birthday cake or you could add more stickers up there if you want. That's up to you. And then I also have made this one which I showed you. They fit right inside the little envelopes that I made with the Simply Scored. And then I have this one. So you can make with these stickers in one set a variety of gift enclosure or birthday cards. And if you have kids, it's nice to have these on hand. If you have any questions, contact me at chris at mystamplady.com. And thank you for watching.